are helping them out this weekend. And that is the kind of collaboration that makes a good make affair. And honestly, it looks like that helmet's a little too large for her. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that helmet, I think, weighs more than Oh, yes, it does. She lost it there. She got up on two wheels. She, she might want to be a little more careful. When she straps the helmet down, she won't have to hold it on with one hand. And we have two hands to steer. Perhaps she could buckle her helmet on. All right, right now, I3 is finally back underway. Heck, to the future, now up to fourth place. They've been slowly clawing back the lead laps that they lost from their earlier mistakes. But it's been proving difficult because of the pace of this field is so intense. Oh, that's another blown tire! Yeah, that is a blown tire. Who is it? I'm not sure who that was. I heard it, but who is it? Was it I3? I don't even think the driver knows who has a flat. Is it Lotosaurus Rex? It's going to be Lotosaurus Rex. And Pete has got a flat tire out there. It's just who? Oh, no, no, it's not the Iron Rose. Yeah, yeah, it is I3. I3, Detroit. Unfortunately, with the flat tire, possibly. No. They're going right back out. No, they're back out again. They checked. And it looks like they uh, were actually able to keep going. So I'm not even sure what happened there. Maybe something just moved dramatically in one of these cars. But it certainly sounds like a flat tire, but it is a ghost tire. Right now, though, Football Labs back off the track yet again, trying to get back on. And I'm through Detroit pulling in yet again, the long way down pit lane. Not the ideal thing to do. It might have been a slow flat for I3 Detroit. The left front wheel is now getting fix a flat attached to it. And right now, our leaders, Nimby Ferrari, with Sarah Sullivan driving, are trying to keep the car together. And I just got official word from MIT. It looks like Jimmy Mikuban is unfortunately, they've got a blown motor controller and they can't keep it to under the current limit and they're blowing fuses now. So they are now out of the race because they can't keep the current under control. They were right there on the edge of their fuse limits and they've gone over and they've paid dearly. They're now out of the race. That's right. And another flat from Hack to the Future! Unbelievable! Marty will never get back to 1985 when we're getting flat tires. That is the second flat from Hack to the Future. Green flag. We're back underway. Unfortunate for the DeLorean of Hack to the Future. They're going to have to rely on Moxie to bring it back. Right now. Oh, that's another flat tire. Oh, no. Is that Mini Monsters? Mini Monsters has the flat tire. Worst part of the track to get one, too. Another caution, two flat tires in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, the endurance race is a race of attrition. <laughs> this is a race where nothing makes it to the end. And right now, these teams are trying desperately to keep their power racers from falling to pieces. Unfortunately, it's not working out the best for others. We are going back to green. Pete takes the green. Nope, he's going, pulling over. Lotosaurus Rex is pulling over now. Uh oh, it looks like he got flag flag from the Grim Reaper or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he didn't have a chin strap on on his helmet. Safety gear is important, but it only works if you wear it properly. He's got to do push ups. Oh, uh, Lotosaurus Rex is getting penalized for push ups right now. <laughs> Audrey got a warning for that from Milwaukee, and now Pete got the penalty. She's got her tra the strap on. She learned really quick about that. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, Atomic TV, which sounds like a cement mixer with a toaster inside of it, is actually completing quite a few laps right now. They're finally getting some consistency out of that car. And they're moving their way up to 10th place as we speak. Because they got some chain rules and liquid wrench for the Atomic TV if they need it. Yeah, I think they could use some liquid wrench there. 
But quiet that noise. Oh, the grinding is killing me. Oh, oh, he lost the wheel. He, lost, he drove the wheel right off his car. Patrick, I think, I think we're cursed. Every time we bring up a car that isn't the leader, something happens to them. <laughs> And then looks like the entire hub came off his car. Yeah, that wasn't just the tire, that was the hub shearing off. That is the thing. Green flag now, green flag. Green flag, but definitely not full speed. And on the court of trade, was 412 to get your moxie votes. He's trying to help them out. Are you delivering the piece to them? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because the Batmobile must have lost more than a wheel, they're not in the race pretty much anymore. Omnicore Detroit has grabbed their transponder and is running under our timing system to help them complete more laps. Minute and a half to the last driver change. Minute and a half to the last driver change. Omnicorp is your wonderful wild card. A wonderful Detroit hacker space. They put on a great party, folks. As you can see, their entry, known as Banana Boat, Murder Banana, and now I got him DJ Party Crasher. DJ Party Crash is a great name for Brandon out there. Oh no, AHA back out with me, but they're getting into the wall. Oh no, all oh, bad for AHA. But they've gotten the clear in time. Green flag. All hands active. Actually was are getting really used to pulling their car off the track. Ladies, there's only five cars on the track right now. We've started with 17, we've gone down to five. One, two, three, four, four and a half, and uh, five. Meanwhile, Omnicore having a great time out there. 20 seconds to drive it to you. Amazing passing by the leaders there. Then the Ferrari taking the lead there, or the, so they keeping the lead, I should say. Yeah, right now, those are all the time new, first and second right there. But Nimby Ferrari is ahead by a couple of laps. Last driver change three, two, one. Last driver change, last driver change. Patrick, usually we'd have a mad dash to the pits, but most of the cars are already in the pits. The massive amount of attrition here has taken a toll on these tiny little toys. It's absolutely incredible what we're witnessing here. But right now, our leaders, Nimby Ferrari, are making a last battery change and a driver change. Meanwhile, Phantom Power Racing, I believe, is also making a battery change. The first one out of these pits might get one extra lap advantage on each other. Let's see who it's out first. The first one out is Batmobile, which has been a... Which I don't know if you can tell, but the Batmobile was defeated yesterday by the Joker. I believe Poison Ivy was there. Bane was there. Him before he is out first, ladies and gentlemen, with Phantom and Tail and Catastrophe and I3 Detroit. Those are the top four cars. The top four cars, the first four out. Good, quick pitch uh, changes make a break of rules. Hack to the Future also now out. Hack to the Future is hoping that they can go back in time and get a couple more laps. Patrick, there is some definite heroics from the I3 Detroit team. Ted, give us a background of what's happening with your car. Uh, we blew our right front uh, uh, left front tires, so we swapped the left and right, so we have the good one on the outside. We have got no spare. There is no spare, so if this one goes, it's game over, is it? No, no, it's never game over. We just ride on the rims, we push it, we carry it. Riding on the rims, sparking if you need to. That's right. Anatomic Chibi's back out after their hub disintegrated into matter. They're back on the way. And Brandon, absolutely appropriate with another one bites the dust as we have most of our field stuck in the pits, desperately working to complete more laps against the competitors. I mean, right now, Lotusaurus Rex is heading back out on track, for example. They're in fifth place, trying to gain on I-3 for sure. Meanwhile, something's happening with Cartastrophe. Trying to get support. 
Sarah is taking the hood off of Kardashian to get support from the fans. While Kardashian is completing more laps and is currently in third place. It looks like Ferrari is trying to bribe the crowd for Moxie over here. Where's that Moxie board? Yeah, that's right. The Tiger is on the back stretch, but they're bribing the people in the stands. What's playing me on this side? There's something grinding. I'm not sure what. <laughs> Careful there, Patrick. Don't fly too close to the sun, buddy. Meanwhile, Atomic Chibi pulls in. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe this Charles Watt Chibi Mickey Man is coming back out. They managed to fix the Mickey Man. But he's going really slow, though. Oh, that's how the Chibi was giving it, giving it. Oh, and the Betty Cannon from the murderer now. Right now, there's too much going on. Grim just gave a penalty to Atomic Chibi. Had to do an uh, imitation of the Macarena. I don't even think that's what that was. I mean, it's been too long since they've done the Macarena. I was too young at the time, Patrick. I tried to forget that song existed. Do you got it? Oh, oh, look, you've dropped another thing of her track. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, Chibi Miku Van is pulling off some heroics right here. He's, a, he's using the throttle with one hand all the way down into the car and his brakes on the other. He's driving one-handed. Yeah, it looks like a mess back there, folks. I've never seen such a collection of crazy cars in one spot. Not since Burning Man. Meanwhile, the only thing burning here is the motors of most of these teams. And the tire. Oh, another tire. Is that oh, what's going to be? It's the Mitsui Miku van, actually. Is it Chibi yeah, Miku van? has got a flat tire now, too. Oh, no. Not for Chibi Miku van. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually an exciting moment. They are prepared for this. Chibi Miku van was ready for a flat tire. Let's see how ready they are right now. <laughs> or is he not? He's just going with the flat. He's going to ride on the rims with pigtails. You just sent out your car and had a flat. Uh, we are too uh, focused on hair. It's very important. They are too focused on their hair. <laughs> it looks like somebody actually lost a horn on the front. That looks to be the reactor from Hacks of the Future, Patrick. Oh, no. If that's the reactor, Marty will never get back to 1985. Meanwhile, Omni Court with the background music here. Not a lot of applause for Omni Court to show keeping the music lively here. I have to give credit out to the uh, Batman 412. They're running with uh, 3D printed hubs right now, and so far that is the one problem they haven't had today. So that's an improvement. Just nine minutes left in this endurance race. That's right, Pastor. We are counting down to the end. And right now, pretty much anything that has happened could happen and did. I've lost track of the amount of events that have occurred today at this race. So many race incidents. So many fast cars failing. They were all immense pace. They, they were... The, the, oh, another caution for Lucky Lane. Carrying it off the track. And it looks like we're back finally underway. Lucky 13 again with another problem. They're going to have to get that car into their pits. This time not a tire. Kubo is back out now. Ready. Kubo is still 11th place. Holding on real tight. Yeah, Look at one race point for 11th place. One measly race point. It means everything to Kubo Labs though, Patrick. Oh. Meanwhile, in first place, we have Nimby Ferrari. Your top three is Nimby Ferrari, Phantom, and Cartastrophe. If Nimby Ferrari does not encounter any problems with eight minutes left in this race, it will be the fifth different winner we've had this weekend, which is a record for the Power Racing Series. We've never had this close of a field before, and this is the first time an East, uh, East Coast team has battled off of a West Coast team.
I am not seeing yet again. Apparently, Lucky 13 and All Hands Active are in competition to see who can wreck the most. I'm not sure who's winning that battle. And right now, the driver of Lucky 13 told us if, you, if we're going to do something, do it right. Man, Clint's wrecking. So, props to them on doing that correct today. Yes, you can crash into a wall very well. <laughs> it's incredible. Well, hand is something else. Hey, well, it's a team effort, Patrick. Right? Everyone's on board helping out with that squad. Meanwhile, Lotusaurus Rex driving by. Audrey's going to finish that car in fifth place as long as she keeps together and head to the future, which right now has fallen all the way back to sixth place. Marty's got some body damage on the front of his car there. He's been in a couple wrecks. Yeah, that's right. It looks like his time circuits have shook him loose, too. Yeah. Um, you, you know, those cars are made Does like... Does anyone have a lightning bolt? So we can get his 1.21 kilowatts back and get back to 1985. Yeah, I mean, those cars will cut like tin foil to those little... Level 13 just cannot make a pin turn for the life of them. This is her favorite part of the track, it seems. But really, it's her steering linkage that's completely failing her. It looks like the steering is just completely broken on Lucky 13. Yeah. There, there's no amount of luck that can fix that steering right now with just a few minutes left. Oh, and now there's a huge collection of cars all checking up with each other in a turn. Iron Rose also losing body panels, too, it looks like. Iron Rose has definitely seen better days, the car that is. It's just completely falling to pieces. There's nothing left of that power wheel. Akana Chibi continuing on, slowly climbing through the field, but still in 10th place. Holy on, what car. Chibi, he's got wheels that want to fall off again. How long will these wheels last? Can they last another five and a half minutes? Because that's all we got left in this endurance race. Five and a half minutes left. Right now, ninth place for Batmobile, which with all their issues they've had is actually pretty good. Cartastrophe has been trying to stay out of trouble, and they are about to be rewarded with a third place finish as long as they can make it home right now. All they have to do is stay out of trouble, and they've got themselves a podium finish. Phantom Power Racing, which has been up and down all day, has finally clawed back to second. After the, the Iron Rose has taped the body panels to itself in order to keep them on. That is some clever hacking right there. As we are winding down to the last moments of the Power Racing Series, brought to you by Liquid Wrench, we are seeing that the faster cars today, Patrick, have also been the first to attrition due to their intense speed. They have not been able to hold it for 75 minutes. They have been pushing the limit. I want to remind everybody that we have some fantastic merchandise available next to the grandstands here. T-shirts, stickers, posters, and more available at low prices. They help support us in going across the country with these races. It looks like the aristocrats are pulling in for some reason. The Batmobile's got some sort of issue. They've only got four minutes left to race. Whatever it is, it better be critical. Yeah, they're going to have not much time to put another couple laps down. They might actually lose a position over this. Atomic yeah. Chibi is out there trying to get 10th place away from the Batmobile. And right now, they can do it. But that is if Atomic Chibi's wheels stay on for the next four minutes. Yeah, it looks like a battle for 10th place is brewing right now. The Aristocrats, number 412, the Batmobile, and Atomic Jeep are just a few laps from each other, and Atomic Jeep is taking away at their lead. They will take 10th place if the, Tom, if the uh, Batmobile can't get back on the track. It's winding down, Patrick. Yep. Just three more laps for them. And it looks like the Aristocrats are going to limp their way to the finish while Atomic Jeep tries to pursue them. I don't know if there's enough time. But meanwhile, we have Lotosaurus Rex from Milwaukee Makerspace in a fifth place right now. They've had a few issues. I3 Detroit is in fourth place right now, just outside of a podium finish. They have not been able to capitalize against Cartastrophe, which is ahead of them in third place right now. Meanwhile, Phantom Power Racing with their stuffed white walls. They were perfectly painted white as of this morning, but boy, is there a lot of mud on them now in second place. But right now, your leaders, all the way from Oakland, California, 
It was someone in the All Hands Action Pit just collapsed out of exhaustion. It looks like there's a lot of tiredness in All Hands Action. They're trying to finish something in this race. And, and Nimby Ferrari, Oakland, California, has done the one thing that very few teams have done today, which is stay out of trouble. They haven't hit anything. They haven't broken down. They have been keeping quiet this entire race. And just two minutes left. Two minutes left to go. So right now, we're getting close to the final Final moments, folks. This is it. Just two minutes left of racing. Every single car is going to need your moxie votes. Remember, the moxie votes going around out there with a the guy in the top hat. Put your last-minute moxie votes in. Nimby and first.